Hello, happy Monday. All right, here's a question from Strawberry01. Uh, Strawberry says, Dear Tabitha, I started recovery journey four months ago. Long story short, I gained a significant amount of weight, still had extreme hunger and had my period back. Well, at the end of August, my eating disorder, I suppose, got really loud again and I stepped on the scale. The next thing that happened was me freaking out, relapsing, losing my period again, and so on and so on. Now I'm having a tough time figuring everything out since I used to be at my lowest weight when I started recovery and now obviously I'm at a higher one. To be completely honest, I'm still scared of further weight gain and I don't know where and how to seek help to rewire this fear of weight gain. Those past few months felt like I was binging nonstop. Before developing anorexia, I actually had binge eating tendencies, which led me to a really high weight. From this bloody BMI chart, I'd be considered very much overweight. My question is, or should I say what questions are, what are your experiences of relapsing and how did you deal with it? I feel like I'm having some sort of mixed binge anorexia disorder right now. In my brain, I'm still fearing a lot of things and I can eat out again. And when I eat, I'm eating a lot. Then I go back to restriction because I feel bad and start to compulsively move, which leads me to not being able to hold it any longer and binge. It's so exhausting and the treatment and help I used to seek were absolutely not what they claim to be. Is it possible, since I used to have binge eating disorder, that a whole set point thing won't work for me and I'll either restrict or binge my whole life? I know you've answered this probably a thousand times, but I really used to have it and allowing myself to eat again just makes me ravenous. I hope I didn't make any ridiculous mistakes. Ah, uh, all right, well, there's a lot in there. First off, uh, I just think we need to stop calling binge eating a disorder. It's not a disorder, it's a reaction it's a biological reaction to restriction so you said at the beginning or oh, i can't find it now again that you said that you used to have binge eating disorder or you used to have a tendency to binge eat before you developed anorexia well i would probably say that what was likely happening and i don't know you i've just read this thing so sorry if i'm wrong but it's likely that you were restricting somewhat maybe you were going on your diet or things like that just like everybody in our culture does and as a reaction to that, your body wanted to binge because binging is a reaction to restriction. And so you don't have some weird binge anorexia disorder right now. Like we all binge. Binging is a reaction to restriction. Some people, like some people restrict so much that they the binge isn't allowed to happen. I certainly did that for years. But the vast majority of us go into some sort of weird sort of binge restriction cycle. And I did that for four years as well. And so I think that the problem with trying to classify eating disorders is that all of the classifications are just too sort of rigid. And what actually happens with all of us is that we just this very we just do this restrictive eating thing and if you get to a low weight they call it anorexia but if you don't get to a low weight they call it an typical anorexia and if you binge as well and if you admit to binging or you allow yourself to binge then suddenly that's binge eating disorder or binge purge subtype anorexia dependent on your body weight because actually if your body weight is underweight they're more likely to call it binge purge subtype anorexia but if your body weight is not underweight then it's just fucking binge eating disorder it's all the same fucking thing. Guess what is the common theme among all of those things? <sighs> Restriction. Yes, exactly. Restriction is the common theme. And so we all have slightly varied reactions to prolonged restriction. Yours looks like this. So stop worrying about whether set point theory works for you and all of that crap. What you need to do is you need to eliminate the restriction part. Don't worry about the binging. Binging is a natural biological response to restriction. And if you eliminate the restriction part for long enough, the binging should sort itself out. Now, the problem with that is you really do have to eliminate the restriction part. And what that looks like will be completely unique to you. And what it feels like though, same to everyone, it's fucking scary. Because you know what you're most afraid of? You're most afraid of gaining weight. And it's highly likely that that's gonna happen, isn't it? And so, as always, the thing that we really need to look at is that fear of weight gain. And when I say look at it, I don't really mean look at it, I mean 
run towards it with your arms open as if you're going to give it a big bear hug as if it's your long lost best friend despite the fact that you're terrified of it you've got to pretend that you're not you have got to barrel towards that fear of weight gain and stop running away from it and i know that's scary but that's sort of the whole point anyway well i don't know if that answered your question or not but that's all i have to say today bye